Is it filming yep. now? Is it filming? Yes. Filming? Yes, maybe. We're filming. <laughs> we're filming. Okay. So you face the camera. I'm going to face the camera. I'm just <laughs> waiting to see what you had to say okay. about me here. Oh my god. Okay. So, um, by the time you see this, it'll be after May 22nd. So you realize that neither me nor my friend Matt here, Matt Orsini of Texas, um, received an apron <laughs> for Master Chef. Um, so I thought it's time for a little bit of vindication and wine, apparently. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. And we're going to have Matt here uh, demonstrate his ravioli. Yes, I, I don't know what you saw on the show, but I did make my, what I call my infamous or famous. We're kind of dreading what they're going to see on the show. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we don't know. At this point, we don't know what's going to be shown. But I made my, my toasted pine nut caramelized onion spinach ravioli, which is yeah. one of my favorite dishes. I love it because, to me, ravioli is like a hug to the stomach. This is a very rustic northern Italian dish. I love making it. I love anything Italian. So I am so excited to show you this because I don't know what's going to be shown on the show. And I actually, for once, want to actually make the dish the way it's going to be. What a concept, right? Yeah. And so everyone can try it at home. We're going to share the recipe with them. Yeah. And it's really, you know and what? This is one of the most easy Italian dishes to make. I mean, it's pasta. Pasta is common in every household in America, all over the world. Um, Thai, whatever, every mm -hmm. cuisine. So it is something so easy to make. I can't wait to show you. And I can't wait so you can see how I actually cook off the show. Awesome. So he's going to get started with the dough. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> in the dough... You want... Actually, I gotta interrupt you for a sec. Okay. I made you something. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of scared. What did you make? You made me an apron? I made you an apron. Because I thought you deserved oh it. Oh my gosh, I'm so. <laughs> this is so much. I love it. Oh, because I only have like a stupid ass apron and I love this. <laughs> I thought you deserved one, so. No, my great grandparents come from Italy and I'm actually Italian, so. Yeah. I love this. Thank you so no much. Problem. So, See, I thought I was going to make you cry. That's why I was like, can we make you cry again? No, I don't want to cry again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By then, I think America's seen me cry enough. So. But, um, no, this means a lot. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> so now, now that I have my spiffy new apron on, um, the dough. Dough is not the most important thing in a ravioli. What is the most important thing? Filling. The filling, which is what I screwed up on the show. But... <laughs> I'm going to, hey, I'm going to be honest about it, but the dough is the most important thing, and you actually, I love to use seminella flour because it makes it more durable, it's easier to work with, and when you're rolling out your dough, you're kneading your dough, you're working that gluten now, you're activating the gluten, it's so much easier. So in here I have a quarter cup of uh, seminella, and you use about one egg, you crack those bitches, you use about one egg per half cup of flour. So I'm doing about a quarter cup of uh, semolina. You don't want to like semolina. Thanks for correcting me. Well, you're getting awfully close to salmonella there. So. I, <laughs> I don't have semolina in my food. Do not show that, by the way. Thank no, God. We're you're... totally gonna show that. No, that's um, in the outtakes. <laughs> so okay, so on my semolina. <laughs> Thanks, that you really threw me. On my semolina flour, I do about a quarter cup. You don't want to add too much because you can make it way too durable and make it like freaking rock to deal with. So just about a quarter cup, then about a cup and, a, and another quarter of all-purpose flour. So I already have my semolina flour in the mixing bowl and you're gonna make me really fuck up here, so stop! And then you do about a then you do about We might have had some one egg for every half cup of flour, but really you just measure it when you work it out. If it looks too wet, add more flour. If it looks too dry, add a little bit of warm water. It's not really a hard concept, and pasta can change in the environment you're cooking it in. You do not want to put pasta dough, though, on a cold surface. Most people don't know that. You want to put it on a cutting board, because pasta and cold do not go well together. Kind of like alcohol on me. It just does not, <laughs> does not. I think, I personally think alcohol and Matt go together fabulously. So, do you want me to go ahead and do this on camera as well? Go ahead and do this, Okay, yes. so I'm gonna... Or describe what you're doing. Alright, so I'm gonna add in three eggs, because I added a cup and a half of flour, as again, it was a mix mm -hmm. of semolina and all-purpose. And as Marie wanted me to say, this can go in the outtakes, not on... No, anything you say is fair game for me All right. on YouTube. So I'm gonna crack the eggs right now. You're gonna what now? Crack the eggs. You're gonna what? Crack these bitches. <laughs> and, um... Oh, let me fix my apron real quick. Okay. 
The next thing I'm doing is I'm cracking these Italian bitches right here, <laughs> these eggs. The key part to my dough. Um, I, already I already put one in there. Yes, I'm cracking the bitches. So but I'm they're not Italian, they're like Midwest. I, whatever, I call them Italian. Everything's Italian in my book. Everything's Italian. Everything's Italian. <laughs> my gosh, with the way it's become la, la, such la, a big la, part la, of even... La, la. <laughs> You're gonna get us in trouble, you can't see that. Alright, so I'm gonna go put my last egg in there. As you can see, I cracked it to make sure don't get shell in your dough. It's just not gonna be a pleasant surprise for anybody eating ravioli and goes, what's this crunchy thing? Now I gotta say, he will not back me up on this. If you're gonna make dough for Joe Bastianich, put some shell in it, because he's a weaselly little shit. Oh, yes. that actually did happen on this show. Most people don't realize that because I tried hiding it when I cracked my eggs. I accidentally cracked some shell on it and I tried getting it out and at one point I just said, screw it. And I've never done that before and it takes away some credibility. But for that matter, and again, Matt does not endorse what I'm saying here. If you're gonna cook for Joe Bastianich, spit in it. No, I don't endorse that at all. Written it. I because I actually it. appreciate Joe Bastianich for. A You're a sucker. You're racist. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I'm Italian. Yes. Okay. So there you go. So I have my eggs, my flour in here. It's ready to go. The easiest thing to do when you use an electric mixer, I like to actually work out the dough by hand, mix it with a fork, you know, beat my eggs, which I forgot to beat my eggs. So edit that out, please. No. <laughs> No, 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 because this is for being serious. Serious. I did forget to beat my eggs. Actually, no, I didn't. Um. <laughs> Camera. Cool. One of the things I forgot to do is beat my eggs. If I ever make pasta by hand, I always beat my eggs in the center of the well, in the center of the dough. So, what I'm going to do very quickly is just beat my eggs. Just, um. Are you beating those bitches? No, I'm beating the eggs. And just kind of getting it in the center, mixing it around. Now, it's not as centered as I like. Like I said, I kind of forgot to do it originally. But this is just going to help your dough to be more evenly filled. Marie, do you yes. mind taking this to the sink, please? I can do that. Thank you. <laughs> Lick the fork clean. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lick yes. the fork clean. Okay, so you're going to lock your mixer into place. If you don't have a KitchenAid... I'm not endorsing it, but I love a KitchenAid. They're so brilliant. It's like a freaking gift from God. They're awesome. Okay, do not overmix the dough. Just put it on a speed to plug your machine in first. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, the first one doesn't work. Okay, that's what it was. <laughs> so, and then. Oh, this goes faster than mine. This is the first one doesn't work. It's kind of screwed up. And uh, I took a dive off the counter. It's like. Holy shit. Gosh, sure it goes really fast. Normally, in the normal mixer, it doesn't go this fast. So, as you can see, I'm kind of trying to pulse it because I don't want to. So, let's take a look at our dough here. Looks a little wet, so I'm going to add in a little more flour. I can just tell this is going to be really difficult to work with. Um, I don't want to add more uh, semolina flour. Can you bring me the all-purpose flour, please? Thank you. So you don't want to add too much to it at first, just add a little bit at a time, and it's a lot easier. Now, I'm concerned about that dough being slightly overworked because of the speed of the mixer. Oh, sure, blame the mixer. Oh, of course I'm going to blame the mixer. That should be good. That's good enough because when I work out the gluten, I can, uh, I'm gonna flour the counter or flour the whatever I'm working on the counter, which I don't recommend, or at the cutting board. So, we'll I come will, back in a sec. Yeah, I'll see you in a second. Alright, so you just saw I just needed my dough. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is just wrap it in plastic wrap, keep all the air out, and chill it. Chilling it for about 10-15 minutes or so, all it takes just to firm it up a little bit. It makes it easier to work with when you roll it out with the pasta machine or by a, a rolling pin, whatever you have, or even with the KitchenAid, a pasta attachment, what I have at home, and I love it. It works brilliantly. So You're being passive aggressive because I have a manual one, aren't you? Maybe.
No. I eat, no, no, no. Actually, when I did pasta for the very first time, I did it with a rolling pin. And then I cut strips into fettuccine that way. It took forever, but it was so worth it. Because I learned the right way the first time. Now I do the cheap way. Yeah. So, it, actually, we're going to try to learn pasta. Do it that way the first time. I mean, don't... Don't cheat because you'll never really learn the true art of making pasta. And there is an art to it. It's easy, but it's not. You know, there's mm. so many things that you should follow. So. Okay. Look, it's Marie's head. <laughs> okay, let me wash my face. But what I was thinking about doing is. But don't talk with your B roll. Almost. Did you just cut yourself? Almost. I didn't. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do one for the B roll. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> stop! It doesn't work to do that! I'm gonna do it again to you, stop! Because we gotta get one silent one. Sorry. Oh my god, you killed my knife. There, that's all. That's all I'm doing. Over it, no, I mean, like, I change film me with him. <laughs> so, right now, Marie, I'm just mincing my garlic to kind of make sure it cooks or evenly. But the first thing I want to do, I do need to get my onions on. As I cook my onions separate than my garlic, because obviously onions cook slower than garlic, also I cook them separate than my pine nuts. And you want to make sure when you do your filling that everything is strained. That way you don't have a wet filling. You have a wet filling, what's going to happen? Your pasta's going to explode. Kind of like other people I know, but your pasta's going to explode. Yeah, but other people we know also used no. wonton wrappers with their ravioli. Wonton no. wrappers! Yes, but you know what? They're wonderful people. We met some wonderful people. It's just people have different styles of cooking, and I'm sure hers tasted amazing. We really shouldn't show that, because that is a direct reference to other contestants. I don't see. I don't want to be. Bitch. I don't. I don't want to be bitchy because Nancy oh, okay. is really nice. Who was? Oh, was that Boots? Did that? And she yeah. got a fucking apron. She's really nice though. Oh, I didn't think any of those got an apron. She was supposed to be a dance on last week when. I Drew. know. I didn't think any of the people that did the wontons got an apron. Yeah, she got an apron. Her so and Monica got aprons. Bullshit. <laughs> These are two models that were on the show. Okay. So okay. Hi. So <laughs> <laughs> what the hell did you just do? Oh my gosh, this is not a good first episode. <laughs> this is an awesome episode. Okay, so anyways, we had some wine. <laughs> you keep going back to that. I to say, At some point, people are going to say it's not for a giveaway. <laughs> On, I wanted to say, I forgot to say, I said I've got my guest, Matt, but I forgot to say we've got a guest videographer today too, who's been very patient, because he has not been into the wine. So Sean, you should, you should wave to the people. Can you see that? Hey! Hi, everybody! And for those that don't know, Sean was on Beauty and the Geek season yes, one. Yes, he was. So we have another reality war veteran. That's what I always say. <laughs> but he's not one of our prison buddies. So there's like prison buddies, and then there's like war vets. See, I call ours war vets. I know, you called me a war vet on my Facebook, but I call it from prison buddies. Yes. Oh! <laughs> so, for pri like my that, prison that buddies. That sounds a little bit sexually esque. Prison buddies? <laughs> Did you just say sexually esque? I think I did. I think you made up a word. That's awesome because I have a tendency to verbify everything, including verb. So, oh my God. sexually esque. I really don't help out my kids. I'm gonna go be shown from the cursing mental breakdown guy to the um, to the having fun guy. There we go. We'll leave yes. it at that. Awesome. Okay. All right. Let's cut. Um. Welcome okay. back. I have two pans set up here. The reason why is I onions take a lot longer to caramelize than garlic or cook through than garlic. Um, also, I don't add my pine nuts to toast because they do toast fairly quickly depending on what temperature you have it at. You want. These are not gas burners like we had on the show. These are, well, this is an electronic burner, but uh, electronic stove. Oh my god, that pot's dirty. There's a little bit of crap on there. Yeah, it is. Okay. But that's okay because that's totally what it was like on the show because they didn't really clean our pots very well. Shh. Well, no, it was. It was um, filthy. So, 
I'm going to add my onion to this pan because it will take longer to caramelize than the other stuff. Alright, so as you can see I already added a little bit of salt, olive oil to my spinach pan. I'm letting that heat up. Good sound. I love that sound. It's getting ready. Okay. If you want to get some B-roll, that's fine, but other than that, I don't Do you need, um... Okay, so I just added some freshly squeezed Meyer lemon juice, and because they do have a better flavor than regular lemons, and then some lemon zest, and now I'm about to grate with my microplane, my trusty microplane here, some freshly grated nutmeg. And you don't need a lot, because nutmeg is really, really a powerful flavor. You don't need. I mean, when you buy the nutmeg at the store, just like already grated, that's not the same as this stuff. This stuff is strong. So it only takes just the grade of one. Not a whole one. Right, correct. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. You do a whole one and you're going to have... On the show, all I could taste was lemon in my rabbit. Are you gonna taste the nutmeg? So uh, you don't want a whole one. That well, actually, given nutmeg's uh, hallucinogenic properties, if you did a whole nutmeg, uh, you'd probably not be tasting much of anything, or you'd be tasting rainbows <laughs> between the <laughs> <laughs> between the alcohol <laughs> between the alcohol and all of that. I'm adding a little bit of uh, black pepper right now, by the way. But between the alcohol and all of that, did you get any in the pot? Yeah, I think. <laughs> I should get it on you. Okay. There we go. So, there. And I mean, I can smell that. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. You can smell mm -hmm. the nutmeg, the lemon juice. And see, this is where I'm going. When I go to Italy, and I, I have been, and when I go to Italy, I love the smells on the streets of all the breads, the pastas, the... the You're the, so cute in your apron. It's just, like, amazing. So, <laughs> I can't wait for you to try this. Let's keep this uh, going right now. These are on the stove, ready to caramelize and waiting for that, and then I'll mess with the pine nuts. So, see you in a little bit. So, the next step I'm going to do is I let my spinach cool off a little bit. I want to make sure that I press it out over the sink, preferably. You don't want spinach juice all over the floor. Um, I'm just pressing it out, and then I'm going to dry it out lightly with a paper towel. <laughs> but um, you want to make sure, as I said earlier in the video, to get all the liquid out because you have wet. Mix, what mix equals explosion in the pot. So you don't want that. Um, so I'm just drying this out. Gosh, that smells so freaking good. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I've dried out my spinach. The next thing I want to do is finely chop it. I say finely chop it, loosely finely chop it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just chop it up a little bit so it's easier to mix around with the rare cold cheese. So I'm chopping up. Is there some beautiful knife skills? Not really, but... You know, spinach is like an art to chopping it. Not really. It's just really just chopping like... It's not completely dry, as you can see. And I will dry it some more before I add it in. But, um... That's just the point of... I mean, making a mix, you just want to make sure it's as dry as possible. Thank you, Marie. So, my trusty helper here handed me a paper <laughs> towel. The pad Smile. Out. <laughs> so, it was still pretty wet, you can see. I mean, spinach retains liquid. Now, the good news is there was no water in that spinach. It was just the lemon juice, just the lemon zest, the pepper, nutmeg, and some salt and the olive oil. So, there's no water. So, you're not going to get a strange flavor. It's just my concern is it exploding. So, drying it out. And I want this ravioli to be perfect. As you can see, nothing's hard to make in this. But after what was shown on the show, if we don't know what's going to be shown on the show. You know what's going to be funny? Is if we do all this talking up about how awful it's going to be on the show, and then we're both kind of out completely. I know that. So people are going to be watching this video, and they're going to be like, you were on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, we'll be on the press release of Cass. No, I know, but I'm saying, if it's like, they're going to make me look bad, and I don't know if they're going to show this, and oh. I think that'd be funny. I have a feeling I'm going to be showing that. I have a feeling I need to vindicate myself right now. <laughs> but Well, this is why we're doing this. Yeah. Vindication tastes good, I bet. It smells good. Thank you. Well, it should taste good. So I'm going to get my spinach mixture, spinach garlic mixture, I should say, 
in the pan along with my onions. I'm going to just lightly incorporate it. And then I'm going to make sure it's chilled. You do not want to add this in. For very obvious reasons, you don't want to add this into your ricotta mixture before mm -hmm. it's chilled. It's going to melt your ricotta. So get it chilled. God, you feel like melted cheese is a bad thing. Oh, no, it's not a bad thing. I love <laughs> melted cheese. But I'm saying for purposes of being able to make ravioli right, it's not good. Mm -hmm. um, let me turn the stove off before. That's as, an excellent idea. As Gordon told me before I start a fire here. Um, he actually did tell me that. I forgot to turn the stove off. He Serious? Goes, yeah. You should have started a fire. Oh, if you started a fire, you might have got an apron. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not that. All right, I'm going to get this in the fridge. Let it chill. I'll be right back. So what's that uh, instrument you're using there? Can you give me the butter? I'm using a spatch. <laughs> Sorry, we've been drinking a little bit, but um, <laughs> no, right now I'm toasting my pineapple. I just put the mix of onions and spinach in there, and this time I'm actually, what a surprise, not going to leave the wrapper on the butter before I <laughs> saute it. What a novel concept. Oh my god, you know what's going to be awesome? So if you're totally railing on, you know, that you left the, the wrapper on the butter and this and this, and you're all like, on the oh, I'm going to do this right, the butter. Oh. Well, oh my I'm god, you're here. hearing in accents now. Yeah. So if he goes and says like, oh, I left the, I'm not gonna leave the this on. Okay, so on the show. Do this. And then on the show, if they just make you look like you did everything perfectly after you went and just like. That would be hilarious. Down. I know. But why would they do that? Maybe I guess the show means like an inspirational story. I don't like, know, but this is what I'm saying. It's gonna be funny if you rail on yourself here, and then they're all like, here's this right. perfect thing. Of <laughs> what was the problem? Well, I didn't have see anything wrong. Are you talking to me right now? Yeah, I'm talking. I about saw. Me. I'm not gonna wipe it off. Salt. It's oh, what? Salt. Salt. You have a weird accent. I know I do have a weird accent. Um, so on the show, I. <laughs> can you do? Can you do? Um, do do southern. Well, on the show, I um. Accidentally left some of the wrapper on my butter when I did this step, and everybody was like, "The wrapper, the wrapper, the wrapper," and they didn't see it. <laughs> And I picked up the wrapper and I, I told one of the guys, I was like, yeah, well, shit happens. Nice. But at least my pine nuts are getting toasted fairly well. I have an onion in there. I did not clean this pan perfect. Neither does Master Chef. Let's not attack the show. So those are almost show. done because really, seriously, pine nuts are way too easy to overcook. And I do need to strain that. Otherwise, you're going to have a buttery liquid mess. But, um... My butter Some of those are actually, I would almost consider borderline overcooked. So, I'm going to be picky here. When you get back, I'm going to have the best pine nuts picked out for my ravioli. Thank you. Alright. I'll take that off. So, I've had my ricotta mixture straining for about 35 minutes now. So the next thing I'm going to do is mix that in with all my onions and pine nuts, which have been cold. The whole point is you want all the components of the filling to be cold. That way you don't melt your cheese when you do it. Now, it doesn't take very much at all. I start with just a little bit, and then I stir it, mix it in. So what all is in there now? So we have our toasted pine nuts, we have our caramelized onions, we have some sautéed spinach, Meyer lemon juice, Meyer lemon zest, some nutmeg, some pepper, some salt, and then ricotta. Really simple. And I'm going to add a little bit of fresh Parmesan in just a second. I'd say maybe just a slight tad more of a ricotta mix. Mm -hmm. And my hands are clean, by the way. I'm like just grabbing it like an animal here. Whatever. That's how I like to do hand? things like an animal. You're a sexually esque animal. Exactly, I'm a awesome. sexually esque animal. Yeah. That's the Italian in you. That's, yeah, exactly. I mean, we're Italians, we're passionate, we love food, we love people, we love life. What you're saying is, you're Italian, you're a stallion. Don't fuck with an Italian. I'm not gonna say that. You're not gonna say that, I'm gonna say that. La la la. <laughs> la 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 la. I can't sing. <laughs> I think that's good. He's we'll be right pee. back. 
So one of the mm -hmm. last steps okay. in making ravioli is filling it. Mm -hmm. My favorite part, because that's where all the flavor is going to come through. Filling it, doing an egg wash, cooking it. It only takes a minute and a half. It's fresh. It's rolled out thin. I rolled it out to about a six. Um, a quick question for you. Yes. Is that the texture you're going for? On the... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till it's cooked. <laughs> So, for time purposes, well that sounds familiar, <laughs> for time purposes, we're going to only make about four on camera today, so just, just to get this done with, um, but you'll get the idea, you'll know how to do this. Yeah. And you can see each one has a really good, this, this filling is really evenly spread of onions, pine nuts. Um, now, in a normal situation, I would have liked to have used something compressed, such as a meat grinder or a pastry bag. I don't have that today and I know not everybody does mm -hmm. so it's okay to roll it out. I mean as long as you're all the air is pressed out of your your pasta that's all that matters. So let me wash my hands, dry them out and we'll get this on the good thing going. So does anybody have any questions? I mean do you Marie have any questions about what I'm doing or? Nope. No. You're not making this any fun here. Do you want me to make it fun? Uh, maybe not. Do you really want me to make it fun, Matt? <laughs> so so what, go ahead. What are you doing with the egg now? Alright, so right now with the egg, I am doing an egg wash. It's just going to make sure it sticks, and when I press down, I can get all the egg out. Here. I mean, did I just say egg? You get just all, egg out. All, <laughs> all the air out of the ravioli itself. Because it will burst if you have any air left in it. You can see it's nice and little, beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. There we go. Now, when I cut this, my concern was I um, think that's what I'm going to have to do. So I'm watching my sauce over there. I want to make sure my sauce doesn't, the sage doesn't fry up too much. And then you can do just a quick little wash around the edges because that's going to come off in the pan. Do we know what's in the sauce? The sauce is lemon juice, pepper, a little bit of sauce, uh, sage, I'm crisping up the sage, some honey to bring out the sweetness, the, the, the freshness, sweetness. So I like that savory sweet mm. profile, the lemon juice for the acidity, honey for the sweetness. Um, I have some olive oil and parmesan. So you can use this for B-roll and me talking, obviously. So normally I like to use a fluted pastry wheel. I don't have that today, which is absolutely fine. A pizza cutter will work just fine. Just try to make even cuts, as I have not done a perfect job here. Go ahead. If it helps at all. Yes. It's not any wine we're drinking. We're drinking my homebrew wine, and it's a little bit higher ABV than in stores. Yeah, the wine yeah. definitely is pretty strong. <laughs> but I'm still a perfectionist, and I'm trying to make that look as beautiful as possible. Well, I, see, the, the bonus is the wine is great for bringing personality out. The wine is not so great for bringing perfectionist out. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. But you know what, Marie? I I am such a perfectionist that drunk or not, I'm going to make this look as beautiful as awesome. possible. Awesome. Well, I haven't seen you since since you left in LA, and uh, oh, you know what we should talk about. So, when uh, when Matt was cooking, um, you know, he was my buddy, and and I was you know trying to help him get ready for this and everything, and everyone was kind of supporting each other and everything, and I was really looking forward to seeing him cook. And then um, I was actually auditioning the day after him, so I had to go out grocery shopping while right. he cooked, and it, it I really wanted to see him cook, and when I came back. Um, he was nowhere to be found, and I was told 
that he'd been eliminated, and uh, they, they whisk you off before you can even say goodbye to anyone. Um, so, it sucks. Now, <laughs> just a quick good point here though, the sound you want is you want that, that popping sound. Mm -hmm. Once it's popping, you know it's browning, so you can really see the brownness, the beauty mm -hmm. to the sauce. And I mean, you can smell that if That's you want. That's amazing. That's I mean, really it just good. smells so fucking good. So, it's starting to brown. I'm going to actually remove it from the stove to make sure it doesn't overcook. Turn it off. Well, I need to put it back oh, on. Do you? Okay. Yeah, I do need Don't to burn my house down. I'm not going to burn your house down. Quit freaking out. So anyway, so I get back, and, uh, and Matt's gone, and it sucked, and everyone was very upset. Um, that actually really upset a lot of people when he was gone. Uh, so Christine was the one who told me that you were gone. Christine um, was 19 years old, Kim, Asian, yeah. purple hair. Christine came, well, I'm saying to the audience, you know, because we don't know what's going to be shown. That's true. Um, so Christine told me she was gone. She was crying. I think she was crying. She was upset. I was upset. Everyone was upset. And uh, we, we made this pact that, um, <laughs> I got to tell about the pact. <laughs> so and decided... I love this girl, by the way. Let's be. Yes. Okay. So. The thing is, is that Matt and Dahlia had to cook pretty much the same dish back to back, and Dahlia got the apron and he did not. So in our minds, in our traumatized state there, um, starving and dehydrated and traumatized state, uh, Christine and I made a pact that we had to get aprons now. No, I just put the ravioli in. It only takes about a minute and a half to cook. That's I'm really... saying a little bit past I know, here. but I'm just making okay. a good point here. Hey, just let me. You think, what are we talking about? I don't know why we're we talking about our sky. Are we talking about crazy show? Or are we talking about actual cooking? Crazy here? show. Okay, fine. <laughs> Anyways, why did I go make a pact for you? Anyways. <laughs> hey. Hey. So. Christine and I decided we have to get on the show now. Never mind that we were already like so invested in it anyways for ourselves. But now we really have to get an apron because um, we have to get on the show and we have to take Dahlia out. <laughs> I never even met Dahlia at that point, I don't think, and I didn't know anything about her. But in our mind is like, that's not here and it's her fault. <laughs> that is logic for you. <laughs> so, Dahlia, we love you. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that was our that was our little packs that we had and it was interesting times. Hey Matt? Yeah, no, it was great. I mean, at the time I was fucking pissed off. I was traumatized. I was sleep deprived. I felt angry and pissed at the world. But you know what? It was a good experience. I met you. I'm here cooking Are you today. regretting that by now? <laughs> Almost. 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 But, so... I am now transferring the cooked ravioli to that. You hear that sound? Oh my gosh, that's so good. It smells fucking amazing. Now, you don't want to like lift it up and like toss it in the air. You just want to saute it. Just a nice... Oh. Marie's freaking out. They just redid their kitchen. It looks beautiful. <laughs> well, we're in the process. But I am going to... Um, I have not made this dish since the show, by the way. I know. I like... Um, Do you feel all PTSD'd right now? A little bit. Pasta ptsd Look at that beautiful... It looks amazing. Look at that. Oh. Move in. Sean, get up in there. No, I do need to remove it, so let me know when. Okay. Uh, I'm zoomed in. Okay, alright, I need to... So I'm gonna plate it? Where's the plate? In there. Are those bigger ones? Do you want bigger ones? Yeah, definitely. Alright. So I'm going to plate this beautiful pasta. On a shitty plate? I'm sorry. Now this is a very rustic dish, as I said early on. We're not going here for freaking, you know, gastriques or beautifully decorated plates. We're going for that rub, that hug to your stomach look. Alright, so Marie's going to taste it. Nose. Well, now I haven't finished. I haven't, we haven't finished? I haven't finished. Calm down! And that, that's a little much oil. Okay, good. Uh, it's a little much oil, never in the sink. Um, this can be added to that, by the way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Actually, that looks good. <laughs> So what kind of cheese is it? So I'm adding a little bit of freshly grated Parmigiana Reggiano, Parmigiana Reggiano to my pasta right now, just for presentation and taste purposes. 
So, since Tori was kind enough to let me in her house to cook today, I'm going <laughs> to let her add the first bite. I'm going to turn the ovens off so I don't burn her house down. Let's see what she thinks. That's think. always a good thing. Okay, I don't like eating on camera, so... <laughs> no, 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 we got to know what you think. No. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Wait till she's done chewing. That is so good. That yeah. is really, really good. Let's see. Wow, so, I'm really happy with that. That is amazing. So. Mm. No, I don't like when people eat on camera. It's really bad. I don't like watching people eat. Now, it does have the look I was going for. Oh my gosh. Is that awesome? Yeah. It's so good. It has that really rustic, that classic taste to it. I don't think that's rustic at all. Really? No, I think that's quite sophisticated. Well, that's good to know. Rashawn, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> so, cameraman, camera bitch, what do you think? Thumbs up. Thumbs it's up. very good. It is very good. Oh my gosh, well, I'm going to finish eating this. It was so nice having... Well, first of all, it was so nice being able to cook in your house. Oh, thank you. First time yeah. cooking after <laughs> Master Chef. First time we've cooked together at all. Yeah, that's yeah, true. It is. But, um, Even though chronologically, this is I am the second loving video. this right now. It is really good. So I'm gonna finish this. We're gonna finish this. Yeah. Until next time. Ciao. Yeah. Ciao. No, it's it's Evans. What? I don't even know what that video says. <laughs> but Eva <Ava> Fazul. <laughs> next time won't be all about Master Chef. But thanks for coming and watching the cooking. Yep.